Good evening, everyone. Ads here from Unity Trading Group. Welcome to your Tuesday night update. Of course, before we start, hit that like button, tap the subscribe button if you can, and of course, tick the little bell. We've got lots of content coming up regarding Gravy Train in the future, teaching you, teaching you guys how to use it and how we use it, of course. So uh, for everyone who has signed up in the last you know, couple of days, a uh, week or so, thank you all for joining the Gravy Train. There'll be more content to come. Funny story, actually, I actually recorded about five minutes of this video and uh, I didn't even realize that I was looking at ETH USD instead of BTC USD because the price action is pretty much the same. But anyway, uh, take two, uh, take two for me anyway, BTC USD, where are we at? Where are we going? We spoke about this level down here at uh, demand at 44K and we have returned to the mean at around 50. So yesterday we really spoke about the eventuality of this you know, descending wedge. So that's a bullish move on this smaller time frame, uh, on the four hour time frame anyway. And uh, just after the video last night, we did punch through it and break out and move to the upside. So the most relevant level of demand for me was this pivot point up here at around that 50,000. We had this level of supply, we had the gravy train cloud of course, and we had the 178 Fibonacci uh, trend-based trend level there at around that 50K. So look, there's a whole lot of indication, a whole lot of, lot of uh, you know, confluence around that 50,000 mark that really came to fruition for this movement. But in any case, we haven't made a higher high yet. We haven't moved through this supply yet. So it's a little still, it's a, still a little early to really call that we are you know, moving towards that 53, back to our all time high at 57, 58. So it's going to be a little bit more time that we need to really gauge where we're going. We have, in any case, made some upper movements towards you know, that 1618, 178. We have broken out of the wedge that was to the downside. So that's a good sign in of itself. We have moved up through this level of which is the 50 RSI, so that is a good sign as well. The last piece of the pie will be to break this level of supply and of course break back into the gravy train cloud and we could possibly have a what we call in with itchy an edge to edge trade if you will and we might see you know some movement towards the top of the cloud if we don't even get to the level of supply up the top here at 57. But that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves based on the uh, price action that we're seeing on the screen at the moment. Right now, it's gonna be make or break for BTC. We're really hoping that we can break above this 50K level, break into the gravy train cloud, of course, break this level of supply and move to the next one at 53, or the next one is we make another, we, not, we make, excuse me, let me start again. The next one, the next scenario is we make a lower high. I should talk a little slower. Next time one is we make a lower high and then we continue towards the downside to make a lower low. That would be the next option. So we've got really two options. We can go up or we can go down. How original is that? But we need to wait for a little bit of confirmation. There is a little bit more reason for me to suggest we could probably be moving to the upside and we could possibly see 53 and 54. There is a little bit more reason than going to the downside or heavy heading bearish. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm looking for, of course, break into the cloud for gravy train and of course break through the level of supply that we're seeing here in purple. But that's what I'm looking for at BTC. My, my strategy and the strategy that we really talk about here at UTG revolves around you know key levels and averaging yourself in and out of the market. So I've been averaging myself into the market. My latest buy was around this 44K mark. The same thing I've done on ETH, on ADA, and a number of other coins that I've been looking at. Um, if we do head to the upside, fantastic. We've, uh, we've employed a DCA strategy to buy around this 44K mark, around these predetermined levels that we've got drawn in. If we do head up, I'll be, he I'll be selling some, uh, some positions of course, if we head down, I'll be averaging in once again. So uh, yeah, if you wanna know more about our DCA strategy, we've got a video on the channel specifically dedicated to it. So uh, have a look there. But anyway, moving on, ETH USD. <clears throat> Very similar situation for Ethereum. 
where we've got a we've had a bounce off the 1320 mark we have pushed back up to our most relevant level of supply and that corresponds with our gravy train cloud as well just backing up a little bit you can see the power of gravy train immediately on these charts that i've shown you in the last it's been five minutes and 20 seconds that we've been recording this uh, if you want to get involved with gravy train the first month is 50 percent off you can Find our website down below at unitytradinggroup.com. There will be a indicators tab up the top, and then you can find Gravy Train there. If you haven't gotten, get, if you're not get, excuse me, if you haven't gotten involved with Gravy Train yet, I do really recommend that it. it works on all markets. It works on pretty much all time frames, and it will help you identify key levels of supply and demand. Not only that, support and resistance, and of course, keep you in and out of trades uh, when the market is either moving up, keeping you in, or keeping you out when it's moving down. <clears throat> so, a fantastic tool, nonetheless. Uh, if you wanna get involved, again, unitytradinggroup.com. But for ETH, very similar price action, very similar structure to BTC, and I'm waiting for a very similar outcome, whether that be moving up through our level of uh, supply, and we could probably nip it up a little bit, but I'll leave it up as it is just now. We've had a, another sell signal, on the gravy train indicator. So we, if we are to reverse this trend for gravy train, we need to break and close into this cloud to turn this cloud back gray so we can get a potential reversal. And then we could we need to break above this level of supply. Exactly the same scenario as BTC as for ETH. ADA USDT, not faring as well as the other two. Unfortunately, uh, we were looking at a one hour uh, rising channel should I say in this instance, but we didn't get our further push to our level of supply and we did move to the downside and give us that pretty nice break, if you were to ask me, of that upper trend. So in my instances, I'd be looking for more movements towards this $1.10 mark, which is the most relevant level of, of uh, demand. And of course, if we don't break through this level of our gravy train. So the, we've had a, a number of instances where we've had a higher high here we've we've created a, a level of uh, support or resistance depending on which side we're on but it is a support or resistance level and gravy train is just making you aware of that where we've got previous resistance and of course turned support so we've got one more shot in my opinion of this level of support if we don't hold the 115 we're going towards my key level here at 110, which is our level of demand. We'll have a look at DOT actually. DOT as well was one that I wanted to have a look at this evening. Uh, so DOT uh, didn't really get back to my level of demand, unfortunately, even though it was the most relevant level, we could still get there. Not, don't, don't, uh, don't discount it just yet, uh, but we could still get there. And uh, we did get there once before. So that level is key and uh, we could see that level again. So we are still under the cloud for Gravy Train on DOT. It is quite a big zone to get through uh, before we can you know, confidently say, or GT can confidently say uh, we are heading to the upside. But if in any case, it is highlighting a level of supply, which is this one here. And this is, if I turn Gravy Train off for the minute, this is the most relevant level of supply at the moment where we've got a pivot point here, a very small one at that, so a low quality level, but we do have resistance one, and of course we've been rejected again. And of course, if we overlay gravy trading back on there, it is giving you that instance of the cloud throughout that level of supply. So a very good uh, key level there. My my observation for DOT is if we, we need to break through this, we need to come back and test this $45 level for DOT if that's not gonna happen, we will see it. I'll see it back here at 26.53 uh, in the immediate uh, term, the medium term, should I say, over the next probably 14 days or so for DOT. XRP USD is one that we look at quite regularly. Not a whole lot uh, going on with XRP, to be honest. Uh, the volume has dipped down for, well, look, quite substantially. Uh, we are looking towards one sec. We are looking towards this 61.8, of course, for our next movement to the upside if we are to get it, but the volume's not really preceding it. Uh, we are making lower highs, of course, this one 
being another one. And uh, if the volume does continue the way it has been, uh, I'll pretty much expect it to come back down at 40 cents in the immediate term. Last one I have a look at tonight is the DXY. The DXY has been exceeding expectations in my opinion, but uh, for a look, a good reason we've had we've been quite bearish for quite some time for the DXY. So a decent movement to the upside is on the cards in my opinion, and not a bad one. So we did cross over on the four hour time frame, time frame, excuse me, with gravy train, and that happens around the 95, 90.5 cent mark. So it doesn't. It really doesn't surprise me that we are heading to the upside now, but our next level is the level of supply up the top here at 91.50. I was gonna say 48, but uh, 91.50 pretty much, that level there, and that is the most significant level on this time frame at the moment with a significant pivot point sitting up the top there and a very perfect candle to really draw our zone in. So I would be expecting the DXY to come up to this 91.4, 91.5 level in the immediate term. If we can get a little bit more juice out of it, uh, we are you know, trending quite high on our steamroller on the RSI as well. So we could get a cool off before that happens. If that's to happen, I'd be looking for this level here around our previous top. Of course, we do have a number of liquidity zones to the left-hand side to really give us that validation. So if we do come down, it would be to the 91.0, and of course, that'll make the decision whether we go to the 91.5. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Uh, if you haven't joined us on Gravy Train, please uh, give it a go. It is very cheap for the first month. Uh, it will give you the value uh, that we intend for it to. Uh, so that's www.unitytradinggroup.com forward slash Gravy Train. I'm Ads from UTG. Thank you all again for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.